I've got another rumor pointing to new graphics cards being unveiled at GTC 2018. Of course, if anyone can buy them is another story altogether. Plus, it looks like AMD has gained some traction in the GPU market. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Mode. Before I get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all things gaming hardware news and reviews. Okay, let's get into today's stories. For those who haven't been keeping up with all the rumors on Nvidia's supposed upcoming graphics cards, basically there's two rumored architectures that could become new gaming cards so I can finally get past 30 FPS on Hearthstone because, you know, card games need frames too. The two architectures are Ampere and then Turing. Turing was first mentioned a couple weeks ago in a Reuters post, while Ampere has been discussed off and on for months. Well, a few days ago, TweetTown disclosed that an unnamed, yet quote, well-placed source in the industry told them that NVIDIA would be releasing new GeForce graphics cards at GTC this year, which is towards the end of March. He also stated that a new architecture would be announced at GTC. The author assumes it's Turing since most outlets are expecting it to be the mining cards, and I don't think Ampere will be anything but Volta minus the tensor cores. With all of that said, there's a couple issues I have with these stories. For one, I'm not too keen on unnamed sources, but with that said, this certainly isn't the first time we've heard about this. The second reason is because I'm not sure if I see Nvidia announcing their gaming cards at DTC. They've never done it before, plus the conference is more aimed at AI and deep learning. To top it off, no one is really expecting AMD to do anything, so it's not like competition is great. With that said, in the past, and I'm going to kind of contradict myself, even when AMD didn't release much, Nvidia still did. They did it to remain on top and sell to the users who already purchased their last gen cards. That's why I'm not too keen on the argument being that they don't have a reason to. Technically, the company almost never has a reason to, at least in their high-end cards, yet they still have. Of course, this time, there's a much bigger reason NVIDIA may have decided it was time to release new GPUs, which leads us into our next story. We just found out that AMD had a pretty big market share jump when it comes to their GPUs, at least according to JPR's recent GPU market report that details graphics card shipments in the fourth quarter of 2017. The report shows us that AMD had a substantial gain in market share versus the previous quarter. The company gained an increase in market share of 8.1%, while Nvidia lost 6% and Intel had a decrease of 2 Basically, Nvidia has got to do something to outshine AMD, especially when it comes to crypto mining, as the bang for your buck on Radeon cards is quite good, or at least it was at MSRP. Overall, the GPU market did decline in shipments, probably thanks to cryptocurrencies driving up prices and memory causing a block in the production chain. Luckily, the research firm did point out that gamers are still the driving force when it comes to GPU sales, but they also made it clear that pricing won't be going down for some time, which is similar to what I recently reported from MassDrop. Now, there is a slight glimmer of hope that Nvidia will lock down their new GPUs to either gaming only or crypto mining only to appease their primary market, gamers. I doubt that would happen, but there's a possibility. So while that does it for today, what do you think about the continued graphics card issue? Is it a plot from the Illuminati, or do we just have horrible luck? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.